It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, it's been reported that the WBC, you know, uh, the plot thickens in the light heavyweight division as the WBC have now ordered the winner of Kalen Smith versus Mateo Baderlik as a final eliminator for the WBC light heavyweight title. Uh, the winner of that fight will become WBC mandatory for the winner of the big June 18th fight, which me and Pops will be in New York City in person attending. So if you're in New York City, if you're going to be in New York City, let me know in the comments or let me know on social media. And we'll definitely I'd love to get, to get to meet up with a lot of the viewers and subscribers of the channel and get some of you guys on the channel as well. Get your thoughts on some things. But uh, yeah, winner of this fight between Cameron Smith and Mateo Battle Leak is the WBC mandatory for the June 18th fight featuring uh, Arch Betabier versus Joe Smith Jr. Now, before we get any further, I didn't know who the hell Mateo Badalik was, so I had to go look at his little box rec. Uh, he's 21-1. and one. He's been uh, knocked out once uh, way back in 2017 against a fighter by the name of Dragon uh, Lepay. Le 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 uh, in one round, but since then, you know, he's been the likes of guys like Dudu and Gumbu, who some of us may remember fought Alexander Vazdik three years ago. And his last fight, he knocked out uh, Igor McCalkin in, in the seventh round. So, you know, not, not the greatest names in the world, but you know, names that if you really, really, really up on your boxing, you would know as a as a student of the lightweight division. Now, their fight is not scheduled yet. Uh, Smith and uh, Bowderleek, they're still in the process of, of organizing that fight. That fight should take place sometime this summer. I would I would anticipate probably July or August, right? But the the reason that the reason that this is all significant is because for those that know, for those that don't know, there's already a mandatory in place with the WBO for this fight. Um, Anthony Yard is already the WBO mandatory, and he's been the WB man, WBO mandatory for a good amount of time now. And now uh, you already have Frank Warren talking about. The winner of this fight, whether, whether it be better be a voice Smith fighting in the UK against Anthony Yard. Uh, he's already got venues that he's booking for October. So now my thing is, are these mandatories with WBC and WBO, are they going to cause a lot of conflict? Because I, th I think they are. You know, uh, Hearn and Fish Eyes don't like each other. And then you got two governing bodies involved. How could this not muddy up the waters? In the light heavyweight division, how could this not make things go crazy in the light heavyweight, light heavyweight division? Mind you, mind you, from the Bivol side of things, Bivol, Bivol has the, 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 the WBA belt. Gilberto Ramirez is the WBA mandatory, but now you got Hearn that wants to push for the Buachi to jump ahead of Zoro, who is mandatory, and fight um, and fight Bivol next. So a lot of a lot of uh, moving pieces going on in, in this middleweight division, but man. I don't like the way that this is going because if there was a weight class, because generally, generally speaking, I think in a lot of these divisions, like undisputed is great, undisputed is great, but when you talk about getting undisputed in one of boxing's like original eight weight classes, those weight classes being uh, weights like you know flyweight, bantamweight, featherweight, lightweight, welterweight, uh, middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight. Anytime you talk about getting undisputed in those weight classes, it means a little bit more. And, and I think if there was a weight class in boxing where I really want to see an undisputed champion, and I really want to find out who is the best, it's the light heavyweight division. You know, you got so many talented fighters in this division with different skill sets. You know, you got a guy like Demetri Bivol, who is the purest boxer in the sport right now. Um... And right now, my you can make the case he's the best cha he's the best champion in boxing. Defended his belt eight times, beat quality names. And the crazy thing is he's done all this, and you you, you get the sense that Bivol hasn't even really used his full skill set. That he's only used about sixty to seventy percent of what he knows how to do in that ring. Nobody's been good enough to bring that out of him. So we want to see a fighter that's good enough to bring it out of him. We think those guys could be the likes of Zoro. Better BF, these kind of guys. But now when you get these sanctioning bodies and the, the clash with promoters and promoters wanting to have a have a, a foothold and a monopoly of the division, then it becomes much more difficult to get an undisputed champion if you know if you know what I mean, right? So and mind you, uh 
we know Eddie Hearn has a promotional deal with Bivol. He's got Buatzi. Cadillac Smith beats this French dude. Uh, then now Cadillac Smith, Cadillac Smith becomes a player in the division. And now maybe Eddie Hearn's looking at him. Potentially, you know, getting a monopoly on this division. I, I really think Eddie Hearn is trying to muddy up the waters and get a monopoly going on this division. Because the reality is, if, if, if we want to get the best fights in the light heavyweight division... It can't be all Eddie Hearn fighters fighting each other. It has to be, you know, uh, uh, Golden Boy is going to have to work with Eddie Hearn. You know, Top Rank is going to have to work with Golden Boy. Top Rank is going to have to work with... All, everybody's going to work together. You know, working together works. And if, if, if we're going to get this lightweight undisputed champion, which we, really, which we really need in boxing, if there is a weight class that needs... I'm not talking about I want to see a lightweight undisputed champion. I'm talking about if there was a weight class that really needed a light heavyweight champion more than any other in boxing... It is this weight class right here because you got a bunch of guys, whether it be better be at Bivol, Zorro, uh, whoever. Uh, all these guys, uh, Joe Smith Jr. as well, can't forget about him. All these guys are, are, are really good in their own right. They all have different skill sets. They all have different backgrounds. They're all teetering, you know, on becoming, you know, star fighters. And by not making these fights in such a way where you can get Undisputed Champion, you are actually robbing these guys of uh, their own personal greatness and their own personal achievements. And you're actually hindering them from getting six to seven figures, um, you know, moving forward and creating more opportunities for themselves. So look, that's the news, guys. All right. Make of it what you will. But the WBC has ordered a final eliminator between Cannon Smith and some French guy who's already got knocked out. Okay. They're fighting for the chance to become WBC mandatory. They're in the process of organizing that fight right now. The winner of that fight becomes WBC mandatory to Smith versus uh, Better BF on June 18th, the winner of that fight. And uh, that that whoever, whoever wins that fight, whether it be Smith or Better BF, is going to have two mandatories uh, to oblige by or the risk getting stripped. The only way that will happen is in the event that all governing bodies and all parties involved talk to the WBA, Bivol's team, and Gilberto Mendoza and, and them on that side, and they can come to an agreement to hold off on the mandatories until the unified champion, but um, it's not looking too promising if you're someone that's hoping for an undisputed light heavyweight champion, you know? So it is what it is. I don't I don't know when boxing's ever going to get... I mean, we'll get one this weekend. That's why it's such a big deal with, with Haney and Cambosos, but I truly don't know when boxing after Haney and Cambosos will get a, a undisputed champion in one of the original eight weight classes, which is, for those that don't know, a flyweight... Flyweight, bantamweight, featherweight, lightweight, welterweight, middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight. Those are the original eight weight classes. Becoming undisputed in those weight classes means a lot more than being undisputed at super middleweight or cruiserweight or or 140. You know, although it still means something, it doesn't mean as much because these divisions carry much more history with them because they're the oldest divisions. But I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content interviews news videos breakdowns live fight reaction extravaganza we got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and